I just want to put out there that this is not a paid promotion. I just am going out there just as a truck driver, just trying to gain information, right? Now, I am an investor in Shell, and so I want to let you know that, but I am because I truly believe that this is the future of trucking, and we should gain more information about this. All right, so I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm headed to Hylion out in Austin, Texas. I do not have an appointment. I'm going to drive like 1,400 miles just to go there and pop in, and hopefully someone's there on Monday. But All right, people, so I'm about six miles away from Hylion, and, uh, you know, I think they just have a great product. Uh, as a truck driver, I care about the truck I drive. Uh, trucking's a lifestyle. Uh, for people that don't care, uh, they just care about zero emissions. If I could be a part of something like this, man, uh, still feel like a truck driver and, you know, do something that's good for the environment as well, that's a double win. So I'm going to go over there and, I don't know, stop by and say hi. But overall, people, I, I just promote you. I challenge you to do something. I challenge you to just believe in yourself that if you want to be a part of something, do it. You know, I'm traveling all the way from Los Angeles to here now, but let's see how it goes. There she is. How cool is that? Parking my truck right in front of their headquarters. Uh, let's see how this goes today, but you know, sometimes you just got to freestyle this stuff. You know what I mean? I want to highlight the 30 years that you've been doing this and I think it's important that people know that a 30-year veteran in trucking You know if this is something that you know, you're able to easily do yeah. uh, Not to say that as truckers, you know uh, Don't want change, but there's a lot of us that don't well, I'm as old school as they come, right? Yeah, no, I heard I got, that I got a 386 Pete over there. So. Oh, you got a 386 Pete? Yeah, so I, I went through old field, I went through sand, fly ash, all that stuff and I came to this company and I was like, what? Electric truck? But I was old school, right? Didn't think it was gonna work, but I like it. It's good. What up, mother truckers? Welcome to the Asian Mai Show. Look at this man right here, man. We are out here in uh, Hylion and I'm telling you, I came here unannounced. Uh, I was thinking I was gonna get kicked to the curb and I wasn't, man. And I just wanna really put it out there for you truck drivers to know that, you know, a, a company that cares about truckers is a company that I definitely wanna look into. And I'll be honest, I, I was thinking, Thomas, that when I got here, I, I, it, it was, I wasn't gonna be received as well, you know? And I understand because, you know, you guys are at work, you're in meetings, you know, and I come knocking at the front door, right? And so uh, from that, uh, Thomas has agreed just to kind of let us know what's going on in the industry, uh, definitely uh, with his technology and why this might be important for us definitely in the near future. So what's going on, Thomas? How are you doing today, sir? Hey, guys. Nice to meet all of you. And uh, thanks for coming by and taking a look at uh, our headquarters here in Austin, Texas. And uh, we'll give you a quick little overview on uh, on our hybrid electric product that we're shipping out to, to fleets today, uh, as well as uh, give you a little overview on the Hypertruck ERX as well. But we'll first start it off with uh, with our hybrid system. It's uh, This one's on a, uh, a 2020 uh, New Cascadia Freightliner. Uh, we'll take a look back here where the actual product is. So the best way to think of the hybrid product is you're effectively making a, a large Toyota Prius. So you still have your diesel engine under the hood. Uh, that diesel engine drives this frontmost axle, but then the rear axle of the truck is a purely electric drive axle. So most of your power is still gonna come from the diesel engine, but then we're gonna use this E-axle to offset some of the power needs so that we can improve the fuel economy and reduce the emissions of the vehicle. Go for a little test drive. Let's look at this bad boy. Let's look at this. So it doesn't really look different, people. It looks pretty much the same, you know? The gauges, the tablets, everything looks the same. So when you guys are expecting something different, it's not much. It's, it's just a couple tablets that are, you know, giving you readings and, and gauges.
first off, you know, uh, what are we looking at? Can we tell truck drivers uh, what, you know, what we're looking at and what we're looking for? for? Yeah, this is the uh, driver screen. So it's, uh, <coughs> this here actually helps you on your driving too. Oh, really? Yeah, the screen is set up here. So you got your throttle, you mash too hard, gives your engine load over here. And then so go up as you hit the throttle. You want to keep it like under 80 to get a good score. But I got the tablet right here, baby. Yeah, I don't know if that one's... I might not be keeping the score on it. But, but there's a score too? Yeah. It'll give you like a percent when you're done. Oh, nice. Get up in the 70s and 80s, or 60 to 70s. You're doing pretty good. No, that's good. Yeah. So then you got like a coast mode when you let off the accelerator, of course, and then it, it gives you points for that. And then you're braking on how hard you brake. If you brake right, then it'll give you points for that. Like we're sitting here right now idling, you see the little pistons? So you're getting penalized for idling right now. Oh, really? Yeah. No, that's interesting. So every time it goes up, full green, then it'll click a point and start over again. Nice. So if you're five minutes of idling, that's five points. Oh, I minus. Minus. It's yeah. like a video game almost. Right. All right, Lil. Let's get let's get to this driving. Let's kind of see. All right. Here, all right. Get there. It's beautiful, baby. I love it. So this leaf. You watch this leaf when it's assisting. It'll go uh, green, and when it's uh, like charging, it'll go blue for charging. Oh, blue for charging? Yeah. And I got a screen right here, guys, so we can look at this. There's your, oh, you see it there, the accelerator? Yep. Acceleration on it. See the engine load. So we come up to the red light, it should charge a little bit. Watch yourself. See the blue light? Yep. Charged, right? That means it's charging. So blue light means it's charging, huh? Yeah. So overall, with all this technology, you know, uh, us being truck drivers, I mean, we know the future is coming. But from that, do you feel like you're driving a normal truck, or does it feel different? Yes. Everything's basically the same. When you get a load on here, you really can't feel the assist. You know, when it assists you, you're not going to feel like a pushback. You're like sitting back in your seat or anything. It's it's real gradual. It's torquing pretty high on some of it, but it's not enough to where you're going to feel it. Uh, more you're going to see is on the load coming down the steep drain, and it's recharging the battery, and it'll actually pull back and act almost like a jake brake. Oh, really? Yeah, and with the jake brake on, it slows you down that much better. That's that regenerative braking, right? Yep. So there's your charge again. Yep, I see it turning blue. We're gonna speed race this bad boy. He's gotta get up to 25 miles an hour before he'll do anything. Oh, really? Yeah. There it goes. Oh, I see the light bright up. When it's bright like that, that means the, the electric axle is working, right? Yes, sir. It's more of a supercharger. <laughs> It'll do it on bobtail. And it definitely helps when you're loaded. I'm past Gone up mountains. I've been out in Seattle doing testing out there. Like, uh, I can't even remember the highway now, but we were out for 5%, I think it was. And we were, I was out pulling a lot of people when I had enough battery to do it. Really? Yeah. You get up beside people and just start kind of edging away from them. And what I love about this hybrid is, you know, you're just putting diesel fuel in, right? Diesel. Everything's normal. Yep. It's just they got an electric axle in the back. Yeah. A lot of it depends on your engine load, when it pushes and when it doesn't. Right. How uh, how much uh, uh, weight uh, have you pushed with this bad boy? Uh, our testing, all we do is either seventy or sixty-eight thousand gross, seventy-one, and eighty thousand. And eighty thousand? Yeah. We do a lot of eighty thousand. And empty, we we'll do empty testing too. Now, uh, with all the the you know the the battery and the brains, the software and the axle on, does the truck feel a lot heavier? No, not to me it doesn't. I don't, I don't know the particulars on the weight you're going to gain from it. Right. But I don't see much difference. With the future changing with technology, is this something that uh, feels more normal to you? I I like it. I think it's great. It's 
Well, it saves you on fuel, emissions-wise, too. Of course, it's going to help you on that, too, because you're not using as much fuel. And just the, just the assist going up and down, I mean, when I was out, like I said, out in Seattle in the mountains, I was impressed with the way it slowed me down. Oh, really? Yeah, I, can, I would love that, because, you know, we usually have our jake brake on. Yes. So it was working with the jake brake. Uh, these trucks here got, when you set them up on cruise, you probably know this, you got a plus or a minus that you can put up. Right. And it'll kick the jake brake in when you hit, like, say you set it at 65 and 68, the jake's kicking on, and then our system kicks on with it. So you just don't even touch the brake until, like I said, it goes up to a certain SOC, a higher end of it, and it kind of drops off on the torque, holding you back, so then you got to kind of watch yourself where you're going down to the bottom half. But it does work. Oh, that's of awesome. you hit the hill and you go back up, you burn it off going up, and then you've got assist coming back down and holding you back again. So I really like it. Didn't have to touch the brake a whole lot. Right, no, I know, I hear you. You always, we always have to have our foot over the brake. Yeah, and so from this, I mean, us just talking, you know, trucking, I mean, uh, is there anything else that you think it's important for truckers to know about, you know, the way this truck runs, it feels, you know? Uh, Runs-wise, it's just like a regular truck, other than the assist part of it, which I say, you can't feel it unless you're really out mobtail and really mashing on it, and you, you know, you can feel it kind of kick in every once in a while. But the thing that got me more than anything was the APU that, that works for you. The electric APU on here is just awesome. If you can shut the truck off, the only thing that you're going to be bothered by is somebody pulls up next to you with an APU diesel and their motors are kicking on and off, you're going to hear all that. Oh, I can imagine. It's dead, it's, it's dead quiet, huh? Yeah, dead quiet. Oh, that's cool. You know, and that's why, that's why that's why I was speculating too that you're buying an APU with a lot of bonus features. Yes. I mean, that's how I feel about this uh, technology, you know? Yep. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I really like it. I've been with them for two years and I'm really impressed about the system right now. So. All right, Mother Truckers, this is the Hyper Truck ERX and I'm going to get to ride in it. I got to turn off the camera. I'm sorry, but this is going to be on the next one. I will tell you about my experience of what I think about this and we'll go from there. All I have to honestly say is this truck is just on a different level. I mean, if you're used to driving diesel trucks, uh, it, there's a lot of lag time, and usually with uh, natural gas trucks, it's lack of a lot of horsepower. But this was just a zero to go. I mean, I mean, not to hype it up, but it's definitely the, the fastest semi truck I've ever been in. All right, people, so I just got to go on a private run in this bad boy, and the first thing I have to say is the gripe that us truck drivers really have with natural gas is the horsepower that's lacking. And I was thinking that this was going to have that same issue, but man, we just let it loose just for a second. And I'm telling you, I think it's faster. It's got a lot more horsepower than your diesel. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Thomas? Yeah. So this is the Hyper Truck ERX truck. So this is the second product that we're bringing to market. This is a fully electric drive truck, right? So the rear axle is purely driven off an electric motor. So you're getting that electric motor horsepower and torque that's really driving the vehicle. And then we've got our battery pack on board that's what's driving the electric motor. But when that battery gets low, as opposed to having to plug the truck into the grid to recharge it, we actually have a natural gas generator under the hood that will kick on and charge the batteries up as you're driving. So you're getting the benefits of natural gas fuel, specifically renewable natural gas. So low cost, low emissions, actually net carbon negative emissions, but you're getting all the benefits of having an electric drive vehicle. As you just said, it's got more horsepower, more torque than your conventional diesel does. No, 100%, because I'm telling you guys, you mother truckers already know, I'm skeptical when it comes to things, man. And I had to go on a private run, and I'm telling you, uh, at first my thoughts were, you know what, this might work, but after jumping in this truck, man, I think you're onto something, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, we think so too. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm. 